What's up, guys? Remember that palm tree that was over here? Yeah. I think things have changed. Well, it's day two. It's been 24 hours since I put the ground sleeve in. So today, we're gonna finish getting the flagpole up. So the first thing you're supposed to do is put that rope through the pulley and then tie the ends together. Make a loop, go in, go over both ropes, come back in, and there you have it. Okay. So the first step was to pull the rope through the pulley and then tie the ends together. Okay, the next step is to actually thread the ball onto the truck. You're gonna need a couple things. You're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver and a 19 millimeter socket wrench. You don't necessarily have to take it all the way out. Far enough so it doesn't impede the thread. Just take the nut. Okay, so you're gonna need a 19 millimeter extended socket. I guess you have to over tighten it. Could break it. Now that the ball is attached and you tighten the nut, you want to tighten the set screw. It's going to keep that from turning out. So there you have it. You have the truck, the rope, which is tied on both ends, and then the ball. So the next step is to attach this truck onto the top section of the pole. Four of the poles will have a crimp, like this. There's a fifth pole that doesn't have that. That's your top section. So you wanna make sure that it doesn't have the crimp when you attach the truck. No crimp, no crimp. So when there's a set screw, you just gotta loosen that up, slide the pole into the truck. So now I'm just tightening the set screw. That truck is now on the pole. Next step is to attach the flag hooks to the rope. The first one, you just attach to the rope anywhere. The second one, we'll have to make sure it's spaced out the proper distance to attach to the other grommet without bunching up the flag. I'm gonna show you how to attach the flag hooks to the rope. First, just create a a loop in the rope. Feed that through the hole in the hook. Now take that, spread the rope open, and go over the hook, and then pull tight. That'll be the first hook. As you can see, clamps on nicely. Now, we have to find the distance between this hook and this grommet. So what I've done is just let that hang naturally. And so I'll try to put the other hook kind of in this area. Again, through the hole, over the hook, and tighten. So now we've got both hooks attached to the flag. We're gonna take that flag off before we install this, but uh, just wanted to show you that that's how you attach 
the hooks in at the proper distance. All right, guys, so now the next step is to go ahead and put all the sections of pole in the ground. As you remember, I put the ground sleeve in yesterday. So it's nice and set up. It's been over 24 hours now. Let's finish getting this flag up. As you can see, this is the top section. I went ahead and took the flag off so it doesn't drag the ground or anything before, while we're putting this up. So I'm gonna attach the uh, rest of these poles together, get this on, we'll get it in the ground sleeve, and we'll be able to attach the flag. So the second section of flagpole has a cleat. So you wanna make sure that that goes on on the second section. top there's the sleeve we're going to fit this into and we'll have ourselves a flagpole so let me get that set in for you Flag pulls up. wasn't very difficult. If you have any questions about how to put this up, just let me know. Put it in the comments. If you like the video, like it, share it, and most importantly, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. You guys take care. And God bless. Them.